Have you noticed that Amber Heard is slowly making her return to Hollywood? With renewed interest in last year's defamation trial, it seems as though all eyes will be on her in the coming months. So in this video, we're going to be counting down the top 10 evil things Amber Heard has done since the defamation trial. Number 10, new movie coming out. Despite the recent rumors, she has not actually quit Hollywood. Though the past year has been pretty chaotic for her, she is stepping back into the spotlight as a star of an all new film called In the Fire. The movie will premiere at the upcoming 69th Taramina Film Festival in Sicily, and she will be there for the screening. The psychological thriller is set in 1899, where Amber plays a 38-year-old American psychiatrist as she arrives on a rich farm in Colombia after being called to solve the case of a disturbed child with increasingly insistent accusations that this child is the devil. While the woman tries to psychoanalyze the child, the nefarious events intensify and her cure becomes a race to save the little boy from the fury of his fellow citizens, and maybe even from himself. According According to the filmmakers, they approach the project with an emphasis on love and the triumph of love over hate in a fight for salvation. The film is mixed with both magic and realism, and is said to deal with themes of finding love and salvation in moments where it seems to be almost gone. This also marks the first major role for Amber after the highly publicized defamation trial with her ex-husband Johnny Depp. So it's no wonder that the movie's proven to be so controversial. Number 9 Competing with Johnny Depp It's since been theorized that Amber would not be able to continue working in Hollywood, given the controversy that came from the trial. But just like we've seen at the Cannes Film Festival, Johnny Depp has made an effort to move on from last year's chaos. He's been taking up new film projects, making it crystal clear that he's getting back in the game. Now it looks like Amber is trying to do the same as well. But the festival's decision to include both of their films has ignited a firestorm online. Johnny Depp's supporters accuse the festival of endorsing an alleged liar and manipulator. They argue that the festival is choosing sides against him by featuring her movie, given the allegations and the counter allegations that went on between them. Whereas those supporting Amber's inclusion emphasize the need to stand with survivors and get Hollywood to try and take a unified stance against DV. Either way, it's no wonder that they are both working so hard to clear their name. Not everyone is equipped to survive the intense controversy that these two have had in the past couple of years. The former couple have been two of the most controversial names in Hollywood ever since they filed for divorce, but that only got worse when they faced a heated court trial, which stayed in the news cycle for months. Number 8. The Settlement Almost a year after the trial ended, Johnny Depp has finally received a settlement of $1 million from Amber's insurance company. He has also chosen the charities that he plans to donate to. A source close to the actor has recently confirmed that he's chosen five charities to donate the settlement funds, which include the Make a Film Foundation, the Painted Turtle, Red Feather, Marlon Brando's Tetiaroa Society Charity, and the Amazonia Fund Alliance. He plans to donate $200,000 to each of these five charities. The Virginia jury originally awarded Johnny $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages in June of 2022, while Amber was awarded $2 million in compensatory damages. The former couple later came to a settlement in December when Amber agreed to pay him $1 million in those damages. At the time, she released a statement saying, I have made no omission. This is not an act of concession. It's important for me to say that I never chose this. I defended my truth and in doing so, my life as I knew it was destroyed. While Johnny's lawyer said in a statement that he pledged to donate the settlement money to charity, and it looks like he's making good on his promise. Number 7. The TikTok Comeback In a recent video published on TikTok, Amber was seen making a bit of a comeback online. Although the clip was not published on her own account, her fans were extremely excited to see her return to social media. A TikTok user by the name of Bernardo Triana shared a video dancing with her to Selena's Como La Flor. Amber looked very happy with her signature red lipstick as she swayed her hips to the music along with her dance partner. The video quickly went viral and was viewed over 11 million times in less than 48 hours, and judging by the comments, not everyone was really happy to see her pop up on their feed again. But the video also received a ton of positive responses too, with some fans saying that they were happy that she was just out there living her life. Viewers were quick to praise her rhythm and her dance moves, which made it seem like she had put the events of the previous months behind her. It was later discovered that the video was taken in Guatemala, and Amber was dancing with a young member of the film crew from the movie In the Fire. So it definitely got a lot more people interested in the movie, especially now that the premiere is so close. 
number six new wave of supporters. In the months since the trial, supporters for the actress have been steadily growing. As a result of that, several prominent celebrities have joined the conversation, even if they never meant to be a part of it. On the Cannes red carpet, Dame Helen Mirren's choice of accessories caught the eye of Amber Heard supporters. She posed for pictures with a folding bamboo style fan, imprinted with the hashtag worth it, and some people interpreted this to be a subtle sign of support for Amber. In response to the speculation, Helen shared a statement insisting that no secret message was intended. She said, I am a L'Oreal ambassador. They are a sponsor of the festival and quite truthfully, I picked up a fan because it was hot. Because you're worth it is the official L'Oreal Paris slogan. But regardless of her comments, people consistently pushed this story on social media and turned it into the hashtag Amber is worth it. On Twitter, they posted things like, Helen Mirren stands with Amber Heard because she's worth it. Hashtag Cannes 2023. And Helen Mirren hit the Cannes red carpet for the premiere of Jean Dubarry with a message of support for Amber Heard and a subtle F you to the film star Johnny Depp. Number 5 Ditching the Limelight As we know, Amber relocated to Spain with her two-year-old daughter Una following the defamation trial. It's since been reported that she's absolutely thriving in this new location. An inside source close to the actress spoke to Us Weekly and said Amber is living her best life. After the trial, it's been said that she felt like a pariah, considering that the jury mostly sided with Johnny Depp. The actor was awarded $15 million in damages after he sued Amber for defamation in 2019 over a Washington Post op-ed that was published in 2018. 18, where she referred to herself as a survivor of DV. The exes were married from 2015 to 2017, and they both took the stand during the court proceedings. During the trial, the energy around it was so intense. Quote, Amber felt like people were always talking about her and she just needed to get away. The insider went on to say that the actress has been so much happier since moving to Spain. Quote, she's still been recovering from the trauma of the trial, but it's been so healthy for her to get away from all the noise. Amber feels that she can potentially have a Hollywood comeback in the future. Life is good right now. Number four, used a disguise. As we know, Amber is currently enjoying some downtime with her daughter in Spain. In the months after the trial, she temporarily used the alias Martha Jane Canary, who's more commonly known as Calamity Jane. That's the alias that she was said to be using to book her travel arrangements, which of course would have prevented anyone from knowing her whereabouts. The real Calamity Jane was known as one of the rowdiest and most adventurous women in the Old West. She was a frontierswoman and a professional scout, who also appeared in Buffalo Bill. Cody Wild West show. It's not really clear why Amber chose that name in particular, but it does have a lot of history behind it. We know that 2022 was a very tough year for her. The cameras were focused on her every move as she went through one of Hollywood's most high-profile legal battles with Johnny Depp. After the trial, a source close to Amber spoke to People magazine and said that she is now simply focused on raising her daughter in Europe. And at the moment, it seems as though that's where she plans on staying. Number three, latest interview. These days, the actress tends not to engage very much with the men members of the press, but she made an exception this time around. In her most recent interview, she spoke to a cameraman on the streets about her life in Spain. She said, I love Spain so much, I hope I can get to stay here. I love living here and I have to move forward. That's life. We didn't really find out very much about her life from that short clip, but it's really interesting to see what she's been up to these days because she's been isolated for so long. No one has really heard from her since the trial, and that certainly caused some of her fans to worry. But judging from these latest pictures and videos, she does seem to be very happy with her decision to leave the US. A source close to Amber previously told People magazine that she couldn't wait to leave the US with her daughter after the trial. They said, Amber has been living in Spain where she just gets more privacy. The trial was beyond stressful for her and she just wanted to start fresh out of the country. She's excited about working and filming again. She was exhausted and disappointed about the trial. She felt she was mistreated. This is all behind her now though. She has a new energy and is focused on the things that she loves. Number two, changing the narrative. Amber has also been very vocal about the role that social media played in the trial, and she emphasized just how much the internet supported her ex-husband. Last year, the trial was one of the biggest stories on the internet. At the beginning of the proceedings, it seemed like fans were split between the two of them. But when courtroom clips started to go viral on YouTube and TikTok, Johnny gained more supporters to his side. Nothing proves this more than the hashtags, as last year the hashtag Justice for Johnny Depp gained billions of views on TikTok, while Justice for Amber Heard, on the other hand, was stuck in the millions. When it was all said and done, 
done, Amber tried to assert that this had a real impact on the case. She said, even if you think that I'm lying, you still couldn't tell me, look me in the eye and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair representation. To be fair though, jurors were instructed not to follow the discourse online. But at one point there was a 10 day break in the trial. The barrage of online hate that Amber had received on the internet cannot really be downplayed. But by calling it unfair or lopsided, her defense team was able to try and score some points with the public, not long after the verdict had already been reached. And coming in at number one, encouraging boycotts. When Johnny Depp made his first red carpet return at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival, not everyone was happy to see him there. His appearance came less than one year since the highly publicized defamation trial against Amber Heard had reached a verdict. While he made his so-called comeback, legions of Amber Heard supporters took to social media to protest his slow return into the spotlight and the festival that was supporting him. Prior to the opening, they launched an online campaign with the hashtag CansYouNot to call out anyone giving him a platform. Eve Barlow, a journalist and friend slash girlfriend of Amber Heard, initially shared the Cansy Not hashtag to her Instagram. She made a post condemning the festival for supporting Johnny Depp's film. The Cansy Not campaign also ended up spreading throughout Twitter and has since drawn a lot of attention back to the trial. In fact, one Amber Heard supporter that spoke to Variety said the Depp v Heard trial became the vehicle through which the backlash against the Me Too movement went viral. Hollywood industry seemed to be riding that backlash to return to the status quo. To open your festival with Johnny Depp, to be frank, that feels like a slap in the face. So what do you guys think about everything on this list? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you all in the next video.